All right, this is fourth grade, module six, lesson 11. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue comparing and ordering mixed numbers. But this is, there's gonna be a little twist because those numbers are not always gonna be in standard form. We're gonna have some fractions. We're gonna have some decimals. We're gonna have some improper fractions. It's really going to uh, assess in this lesson whether your students really have that fluency, that flexibility with the way to think about numbers. So let's get started. So we've got these numbers up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to arrange them on the number line. And of course, once they're arranged on the number line, that immediately tells you your order from least to greatest. All right, so let's let's get going. So 0 0.6, well, that you can see it. It's right here, 0 0.6. And by the way, what that 0 0.6, and what we know is since we see that this is... Uh, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. That means these little lines in between the tenths are hundredths. All right, so that's important for us to see that. We see that five tenths goes right here, so that's five tenths. And then zero point seven six, so that's seven tenths plus six hundredths, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six right there. So that's going to be 0 0.76 right there. And that makes sense. And then, uh, let's see, we've got 79 hundredths. Well, 79 hundredths, well, that's going to be, we're going to write that down here. 79 hundredths, we know, is 7 tenths plus 9 hundredths. We know that from a previous lesson in this same module. So that means we need to go over 7 tenths, but then we need to go 9 hundredths more. And so 79 hundredths is going to be located right there. 79 hundredths. And then 0 0.53, so that's 5 tenths plus 3 hundredths. So that's going to go right here. 0 0.53. And then lastly, 67 hundredths. So again, remember, 67, whoa, 67 hundredths is going to look like 67 hundredths. You could use a number bond and make that 6 tenths plus 7 hundredths. So 6 tenths plus an extra 7 hundredths. Well, here's your 6 tenths plus an extra 7 hundredths. So 67 hundredths is going to go right there. Yeah, that's right. And so now, once all of these numbers are located on the number line, we immediately know the order from least to greatest. All right, on this one, again, we can use a number line if we chose and located each of these numbers on that number line, but we're going to do it in um, just in number form, and we need to put them from greatest to least. And they want us to write them in decimal form. So I see that we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I see that we have 6 numbers. And so let's write those down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we are going to write them from greatest to least. So the greatest is way over here, and the least is way over here. Now we're going to use some logic here. And the first thing I see is 34. Okay, this is 4.03, so that's larger than 4. This is 4 ones, so that's larger than 4. Um, this is 4 and 4,300, so that's larger than 4. I see that 430 over 100 is also larger than 4. And this one, so the only one that's not larger than 4 is this 34 hundredths. So he is going to go right here as the least. We automatically see that as the least. And we're, we've, we're asked to write it in decimal form, so that's what I did. So now what we're going to do is let's let's take each one of these numbers, and if it is not already in decimal form, let's write it in decimal form. So 4.03, that's done. That's, that's already in decimal form. 
So now let's take a look at four ones and 33 hundredths. Well, that four ones and 33 hundredths. So if we want to, we could think of this as four ones plus three tenths plus three hundredths. So really, that's the same thing as that's the same thing as 4.33, all right? So we now have another decimal form, and so this guy we don't really need anymore. So I'm going to kind of put him up here to remind us where he came from, right there. And then the next one, 4 and 43 hundredths, that's straightforward. That is 4 and 43 hundredths. So that's pretty straightforward. And then the next one is 430 hundredths. All right, so that, that's worth writing down here. So 430 hundredths. Well, we can do a little decomposition. We can call that 400 over 100 plus 30 over 100. And isn't it fair to say that 400 over 100 is equal to 4? Plus, and isn't it fair to say that 30 over 100 is 3 over 10? And so that immediately tells us that's 4.3. So that means we can write that over here. 4 point, whoa, where's my pen? 4.3. And so we've got all these decimals showing up over here and so I'm going to shrink this guy to get him out of the way and then the last one is already a decimal that's 4.31 so I'm going to write that oh let's put it right here 4.31 and so now we can look at these numbers and we see that they're all tied for the whole numbers we see that this is the only one with the four in the tenths place. So this is our greatest of the ones that we have. And so now we can look, and again, they're still all tied in the ones place. They all, well, this guy doesn't have any uh, tenths. Everything else has three tenths. So that immediately tells us that this guy is one of the least of the remaining ones. So he could go over there. So now we've got these last ones here, and we can see that they all have four in the ones place. They all have three in the tenths place. Uh, but this guy has nothing in the hundredths place. This has three, and this has one. So that immediately tells us that this guy is the least, followed by this guy, and this guy was the most of those final three, and we now have sorted them from greatest to least. And the last problem is uh, Matt's airplane flew 9.14 meters, and then Jenna's airplane flew 9 and 4 tenths meters, and then Ben's airplane flew 904 over 100 meters. And Leah's airplane flew 9.1 meters. All right, so whose airplane flew the furthest? So the idea is let's get all of these in decimal form because that's going to make our life a little bit easier. Well, this first one's already in decimal form, isn't it? 9.14, so that one's easy. This one, 9, point, uh, nine and 4 tenths, well, that's 9.4. And then we've got this guy, so that's going to be 9 holes, no tenths, and 4 hundredths. And then this last one is already in decimal form, so 9.1. So our question is, who flew the furthest? Well, they all flew 9 as our whole number, but if we're looking at our tenths place, we see that 4 tenths is larger than all of them, so that means this 9 and 4 tenths is the winner. That happens to be Jenna. So Jenna's airplane flew the furthest. 
And that wraps up fourth grade module six, lesson 11, comparing and ordering numbers, but some of them were in tricky forms.